Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. <laughs> Welcome to my basement on this Wednesday. This hell of a Wednesday. But we are here for X-Men 97 Season 2 Episode 8, the middle of the three episode finale arc that's gonna blow our minds. Let me tell y'all, for the last 24 hours I have fought with software issues. So if any of y'all knows what to do, when you turn on your laptop and it says you want to back up your files and you say sure and it moves everything to OneDrive, OverDrive, whatever it is and wipes out all your presets to all your templates to all your film editing software and how to get them back, I would greatly appreciate it. So if this comes out within the next 24 hours of right this moment, it's going to be a bloody miracle. That's all I'm saying. But the show itself. I don't know where we're going. Charles is back from space. Eric has killed millions. Rogue's still incapacitated. We don't know where Storm is at exactly. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria as we love it. So I'm excited to get to it. Yes, especially today, the shots are ready. So if you're playing along to the X-Men 97 drinking game, remember we're going to take a drink of whatever you wish when we hit these magical plot points of when the gang walks into a trap. Number two, anytime anyone says, listen to me, listen to me. And now that Charles is back, it might happen. And then number three, of course, our favorite, my favorite, this relationship reveals and the secret babies. And we have one more. Thanks to Johnny Quinn, 3215, who suggested rather intriguingly, Anytime something sobering happens, we're going to take a drink of something non-alcoholic, such as water or whatever it is. What I find interesting is what do you all consider sobering and what do I consider sobering? This should be intriguing. Thanks for the suggestion. So let's get out of the big cozy blanket. You're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. If you hit subscribe, thank you. A like. Awesome. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're drinking. Tell me what you're looking forward to in the finale. I would like to hear that as well. I think housekeeping's done, y'all. <laughs> Let's get to it. And I know I said this was episode eight, although I'm pretty sure I said it's episode eight. It's episode nine. Yes, nine. Don't. <laughs> it's been a really shit week. I could use hugs. Lots of hugs and orgasms. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the weekend. Well, the mansion is toast. So, do you have your special legs there, Professor? I guess not. He didn't get to leave with his special suit. Red purple suit, the red purple suit. But you turned her. I guess Bastion didn't turn her into a sentinel. The Nimrod virus <laughs> put some spunk in dad's junk, you know, so uh, I guess it'd be junk in his spunk. Anywho, but you detonated her, dude. Oh, <gasps> okay, 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 okay. So when, um, Yehu's here, <laughs> when the EMP went out, so it, Release their collars then, I'm guessing? Because they were with some people. The world is going to end in 12 hours, <laughs> so you two better make this fast. I can tell I'm not going to be able to form a sentence. This should be interesting. I wanted you two to be free, to finally be together. I wanted to spare you the weight of your loyalty to me. And what would freedom have gotten us? I still would have had to send Nathan to the future. I'd still be pulled into dealing with Bastion or Magneto or whoever else threatened the world. No matter what, I'll always end up here. That was my fear, that you would help build a world where mutants could live however they wish, but that you would never allow yourself to enjoy it. Perhaps that was a mistake, because just like you, I'm right back here. Oh, 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 oh. Was that a sobering moment? I feel 
like I've been run over by a hay baler fixed with a jet engine. Much has happened, Fräulein. Notice your surroundings there, Pumpkin. Aurora, you're back. No. Aurora. This is Jean Jean. When you left, it was Madeline. Is she aware of that? If it is this horrible here, how bad is it out there? Thousands are feared dead. I can feel the Earth's magnetic field dying even now. When the sun sets tonight, it sets on the future. Oh, that's a... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Sobering. Have we figured out how to remove these prime sentinel upgrades? Learning how to safely remove sentinel nanotech will take years. But Forge and I believe we can restore the prime sentinel's innate humanity. Uh, hold up. These guys hated us before back. Oh, wait, Roberto's got a suit? Where did he get a suit? The Prime Sentinels are controlled by a central command server. Alas, I was unable to find it before the blackout. Bastion is the command server. When I first founded the school, I visited Sebastian's mother. Did he now? His mother slammed the door, forbade him from returning with me to the school. In another world, Bastion would be in this portrait. In another world or timeline? Blame game is over, people. The world ends in less than 12 hours. Kurt will teleport us to Muir Island. That's such a ticking time bomb. 12 hours. Impress me. And this mnemonic scrambler shut down Jean's powers when she was the Dark Phoenix. So we calibrate the scrambler to Bastion's frequency and sever his hold over the primes. Part of me wonders if Gambit should have been buried here. As much as he wanted to escape the bayou, he knew our lives are about what bits of us we leave behind and what we carry into the future. Maybe if you saw us as people and not students, you'd have realized that. I was wondering if she was gonna be salty. Nothing spoken can heal this pain. Oh! Are you getting visitors? Heavens, Magnus! Well, <laughs> they didn't have to go to him. <laughs> be reasonable. I am not the one who needs to be reasoned with, Charles. There is a large asteroid hovering <laughs> over my home that begs otherwise. So did he bury the asteroid in the sea? Was that what he did? And you bequeathed it to me, asked me to walk your path. And look what happened. Are you prepared to walk mine? You must undo the damage you've done. Will humanity undo Genosha? <laughs> I promised a boy a future free of fear, only to watch his frightened eyes be vaporized inside his tiny skull. Oh, died, died. Your professor's dream is dead. So I offer a new one. We have gotten here by walking this man's path. We are left with but two choices. Cling to this dying world, or rise to your future and look down upon this fallen pigsty planet. Decide, my X-Men. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh! You know, sir, I made a choice. I stand by that choice. <gasps> Rogue. Wait, is that Remy's coat? I just realized, was she wearing Remy's coat? Who dies next, Professor? Jean? <laughs> Been there, done that. Who knows where Bishop is? And hell, Morth was barely on the team 30 minutes before we tossed them to the wolves. I will not see any more mutants die. <gasps> My mom handed me over to the Prime Sentinels, she believed. Yeah, she did. What's left here? Me. <gasps> so all those who could fly are flying away. The offer was made. The door is open. <laughs> Ciao. Wow. Wow. Oh. Pitching a ride to Asteroid M. Just when we started working well together. If I had it my way, I'd be on Isla Mirada with you and Jean instead of space. Son, let me guess. Be careful. No, 
Give him hell. Oh, hey. Almost forgot. <laughs> What'd you expect? Black leather? <laughs> you expect me to trust you? The world is falling apart because you left your legacy to a lunatic. Not a lunatic. No. Merely a man trying to survive in a world that has proven his worst fears true time and again. Mm -hmm. My X-Men and I are your best hope to avoid that future. Oh, dude! Beast is still by... By Trisha's side. What? She agreed to be sentinel-fied. Hmm. Just a hug, but not a kiss goodbye. Interesting. Oh. Oh, right. Okay, okay. He's got thousands of him. Does. And they're made of plastic, so that's why Magneto's. Doesn't work on them. Shouldn't Magneto's blackout have shut these things down? Bastion must be powering their circuitry using his technopathy. They think they're going to get close enough to Bastion to collar him. The rest of you continue to the ground. No, that's an army out there. Oh, this change. It's all the same. Let us do what we do. <laughs> Believe. <laughs> But in each other. Make them mind your weather, sister. And them weather your mind. So could Jean get inside Bastion's mind? Cause it kind of seems like she has before. Try as you might, X-Men. You cannot stop me and my kind. Okay! <laughs> Morph smash. Pose the question, what is the sound of one hand clapping? <laughs> I waited for this moment. Oh, sinister, why is he there? <laughs> Gene, you're not doing so well. And what? Only I know where you end and Madeline begins. Does that mean I can tell you when I switch? They can be separated? Madeline fights with me today. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, Scott, what's his plan? Should we knock? She didn't know where the button was. <laughs> so you have chosen your side. Oh, good. We're skipping the blabber. So this plan is just to... Kill Eric? Or to... Because obviously you're not going to talk... Thousands more died on Genosha. You can always count on Charles. Listen to me, Magnus! Oh, how I've waited to say these two words to you, old friend. Shut up. <laughs> Sir, what about the Prime Sentinels? There is no time. We must trust Gold Team to neutralize Bastion. I don't know. They're having some difficulty right now. Xavier's brats have breached the base. We must retreat. <gasps> or we'll just destroy you. <gasps> oh. A snake like Sinister would never risk his life for another. That was a pretty good plan, though, there, Morph. Shit. 
Or is that a decoy? Caller. Saw that plane going down. Oh, they're both going down. Are we gonna lose Forge? I have studied you, Jean. Dissected you. Are we gonna lose Forge? I was waiting for you to bring me what I want. Be cable. Oh, would that be cable? My real mother was a world-class telekinetic. Stuff tends not to skip a generation. Okay, Scott, who do you take out? <laughs> I love you. <gasps> oh, oh, she's, oh, she's sacrificing herself. Oh, well, you got off of him. I'm sorry, sir. Gold team still needs more time. Wait, so, wait, what is happening? Everybody's against everybody, and then they are against everybody else. And then it's like... <laughs> you are a traitor to your race. <gasps> He's been scratching his brain! <gasps> what? Always die first. Finally, this feud is over. We are not. We are not. No. We are not. For the love of God, don't do this. And they're gonna wrap this up in one more 30 minute increment. And I couldn't form a sentence before. <laughs> Please help me, Scott, Charles. What was the plan? You get to asteroid M. Magneto is his base beliefs have been reconfirmed again and again and again and again and again, each time more brutal than the last. You are not gonna sway him. So I guess the plan was to kill him. That had to have been the plan, just to take him out. Either join him or kill him. There was no changing his mind. So was the plan to kill him? And if that was the plan, you thought Jubilee would not try to stop you. Not Jubilee, Rogue. I saw the yellow, so my head went Jubilee. But you thought Rogue wouldn't stop you somehow. So that whole part, I don't know, that blue team? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not even, I can't even go in. I 
can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't. I can't even go there. My brain is not comprehending what was happening to Logan. And, and then, I can't. <laughs> okay, so on the island, shoot the Galapagos. Sure. Plan was sort of solid, although I think they needed more than one. Okay, so if you have more than one collar, do you risk collar being used on you? Because there's more than one. But just, you thought you were just gonna go and tackle him and... And so Sinister... Is mind controlling Cable to go after Gene? Because Sinister doesn't need Gene anymore. What he really, really wanted was Cable. So you can take out Jean now. That's cool. She was bait-ish, I guess. The deliverer, the messenger. And so did Jean just, was she gonna whew, phoenix it? She's burnt and she'll return as the phoenix. Do we want the phoenix to return? I kind of wonder, I kind of wonder. I do wonder. I wonder if Cable's previous attempts of going back and stopping the future, his, his present. Genosha was never stopped. That always happened. We determined last episode that was a fixed point. Genosha has to happen. Now, who lives and who dies in Genosha, is that a fixed point? Know what I'm saying? Like Genosha can happen, but maybe Remy doesn't die, or maybe fewer people die, or different people die. So as long as Genosha happens, that's the fixed point. Not necessarily Remy has to die or Madeline has to die as the fixed point. I think you know what I'm saying. Anywho, anywho. So as many times as Cable goes back and it never stops Genosha. How many times has he prevented Bastion after Genosha? Is this the furthest he's gotten or have there been other ways, other times he's gotten further? I wonder. Because does he always with sinister? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Uh, how the hell are we going to wrap this season up, y'all? <laughs> so where are the pieces? Oh, where are the pieces? So the pieces we're leaving with. Gene is gone. Oh my gosh. I just totally realized that Scott was up on the asteroid when Gene and Cable were fighting down below. He couldn't have come. And helped. <laughs> okay, so okay, pieces, pieces on the board. Up on the asteroid, we've got Charles, we've got Scott, we've got Jubilee, we've got Rogue, we've got Morph. Logan is being ripped apart. Magneto stabbed, wounded, unsure if it is a fatal wound. So even if <laughs> Logan. Bleh, they're still up there. How's that going to come apart? Because obviously there's no reasoning with Magneto. Back down on Earth. Gene's gone. Cable's mind controlled. Hank, oh no, Hank morphs down. Morphs down, that's right. Morphs down the island with Hank. They're trying to get the collar on Bastion who's winning. Storm falling from the sky. Forge plane is crashing. And we're going to somehow wrap up something in the next half hour. And I say that question markingly because I would like to see something resolved by the end of the season. I don't want there to be all loose ends. I would like something resolved. So what do we resolve? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I think this talk is going to be about as long as this episode. No, I won't do that. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Recoup. Recoup. Holy shit, y'all. Tell me how you're feeling. I would love to know. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Um, if you haven't already, go eat something. Please take care of yourself. Stretch your bodies. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time. <laughs>